Good morning and assalamu alaikum. This lecture is for grade 9 chemistry and today we will study the topic identification of ions. Before going to start the topic, first of all I would like to tell you that there are two types of ions, cations and anions. Cations are the ions which possess positive charge on them and anions are the ions which possess or which carry negative charge on them. Which kind of ions we are going to test here or if halide ions, sulfate ions, metal ions, metal ions are most of them are positive ions or cations. <coughs> when we have an ion which we don't no, we can use some methods to identify it. In this slide show I will talk about. So as we know, there are many different types of ions in front of us, physical. And we don't know which type of ion is it. Either it is cation, positive ion, or it is anion, negative ion. So we will test the following ions halide ions, sulfate ions and metal ions and then we will see how we will detect that which ion is cation and which ion is anions or which is halide, which is sulfate or which is which ion is metal. For testing we need the following apparatus. We need nitric acid. Purpose to use the nitric acid is to make the surrounding or environment or that apparatus acidic and we use silver nitrate that is reagent for halide ions. Now we will discuss about the method. First of all we will take a small amount of solutions, different types of solutions, we don't know which ion is this. And then we will add dilute nitric acid to all of them in same amount to make the environment or to make the solution acidic. Dilute nitric acid means it is less stronger. Water is added in it. Now environment is ready or solution is ready. Then in its next step we will add silver nitrate into all those, those solution samples <coughs> which we have taken already. You will see after adding silver nitrate, precipitates will form. If in the tube white precipitates are formed, the color of the solution will become white. Those would be chloride ions. Chlorides are actually halides. Or these all are halides. Okay, chloride, chlorine, bromine, chloride, chloride, bromide, iodide. All these are halides. So if the color of the solution is white then it will be chloride means chlorine is present if the color is creamy that would be bromide means bromine is present if the color is yellow then iodine is present iodide ions no precipitate it would be chlorine or bromine see before uh, the solution was colorless colorless and yellow when we add silver nitrate it becomes white means it is chlorine when we add silver nitrate in this tube it becomes creamy means it is bromide ions when it becomes uh, yellow it will be iodine no precipitates means chlorine or bromine now we will do testing for sulfate ions before we did testing for halide ions now we will go for sulfate ions that would be we use hydrochloric acid and barium nitrate solution take us method is take a small amount of solutions add first we will add hydrochloric acid in all the test tubes of sulfates which we have taken and then in the end we will add barium nitrate what will happen we will see if the precipitates formed are white then those are sulfate ion no change nitrogenous sulfates these are the observation you can check 
now metal ions we will use sodium hydroxide these are the reagents of metal take a small amount of solutions add few drops of sodium hydroxide if the color is pale blue that would be copper ions if the color is green that would be iron it iron 2 if the color is red brown that would be iron 3 so this is how we can detect the different types of ions cations or anions this is it for today thank you very much have a good day uh.